Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at CES 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to our friend Vernon Kurzweil. How you doing, Vernon? Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you again, after two years. Yes, yes, that's right. You may recall that we interviewed Vernon about his highly successful crowdfunded project, the Microdrone 3.0. This is an amazing piece of hardware, but it's not what we're here to talk about today, and that is the Xano. So it's back? Yeah, so Xano was like the crowdfunding's most biggest failure of all time. It raised uh, about uh, two and a half million dollars and then it came crashing down and collapsed. It, it never delivered on what was then um, promised. When it was being um, sold by the bankruptcy agency, the insolvency guys, they approached us and asked us, uh, would it be interested in having a look at some of the stuff? And, um, uh, you know, our company specialized in developing uh, small size UAVs. So we built Microsoft 3.0, we delivered that and uh, we been, we've been generating um, uh, technology for drones since 2011. So um, we went to see that company. I was uh, pretty surprised about what was there and uh, had a look. So obviously you like what you saw because now you're helping trying to resurrect this thing. It had a lot of really interesting technology. Like a lot of, a lot of uh, the technology they were trying to achieve was way ahead of what was on the market at the time. But it was deeply flawed and they didn't give themselves much time. They gave themselves about sort of six months to design it, build it and ship it, which was um, pretty uh, unrealistic. It was a um, you know, a bit too ambitious, and um, it ended up being where they um, they did make some drones, but um, it was deeply flawed in both the hardware and the software, and it um, unfortunately couldn't do the things that they tried to achieve. So now, what will this new reborn Xano be able to do? What are its key features? So, um, in terms of what we saw as opportunities to actually make this happen, you know, we thought there was a lot of really cool stuff. Like they were, they wanted to build a drone that could fly autonomously, which could hold its position with one button takeoff and landing. Also, they were trying to build swarm technology where they could fly multiple drones at the same time. And also, they tried to do um, GPS, obstacle avoidance, and uh, follow me. And many of these technologies, they were completely new, and the technology they they tried to implement the hardware side, like the components, they actually um, they couldn't really do the, do the features which they were trying to do at the performance which people expected it to do. You know, they expected a drone which would sort of float out of the box and follow you and do all kinds of stuff like that. And um, that was, um, it didn't end up like that and um, the performance was way different from what they were trying to achieve. You know, using the current technology, I think we could probably use this as a test platform for experimenting with that technology. You know, like many of the manufacturers, chip manufacturers, which um, were in the original Xano configuration, they've released new modules now which could get the Xano closer to where they tried to make it. And um, as a minimum, we've been trying to make the original drones work in their original hardware configuration. So for example, as soon as Extreme Flyer engineers got hold of the original source code, we very quickly I managed to figure out the problems of the drone and um, figured out how we could actually improve that. So we built new software, new apps, which could link up with the drone and stream the video. We um, recoded the, uh, the live video, so that works um, you know, really well with the um, feed from the Xano drone to the smartphone. We also got the LED, the little cute LED screen on the drone. Um, we've got that working now, so you can send like little smiley faces and little hearts and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. When will this be available and what's it going to cost when it's relaunched? So we're not sure if we'll ever manufacture Xano again, but what we will do is um, we're going to, um, we know that about 500 to 1,000 units were shipped um, to backers and um, all those drones did have problems. But what we can do is, you know, all those drones were bricked when they actually um, were um, switched off because they relied on a, on a server which was, you know, reliant on that being live all the time. When that was switched off, all the drones were bricked. So what we can do is actually release um, a software patch which actually um, get all those drones working again. So if they did receive a drone, they can actually get it working, which would be pretty cool. They can dust it off and see if they can upload the code and get it working again. I think going forward, um, we're going to make the code open source. So I think what I'd like to do is get all of the, the engineers out there who want to build drones and experiment with drone technology to come together into a kind of community of, of hackers. I'm a drone fanatic. I love building technology and experimenting it. And that's how I got started with Extreme Flyers. And all our engineers are the same. We love to build stuff and experiment with ideas. So if we can kind of get together with all of the best engineers in the drone industry, you know, whether they work for Extreme Flyers or DGI or Parrot or any other drone company, if they want to take part in this you know, project you know, in their spare time. This is going to be an open platform which they can use to experiment with really cool stuff. And we're going to launch a um, Slack um, account so people can join that and then we can actually start building some really cool stuff. And then 
uh, sorry, um, the original backers can have access to that. So, it, so really, what this is more of a community project than a than a product you're trying to manufacture and relaunch. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we want to see what what was possible. You know. Xano had some great visions, but it was just a case of lacking time and the technology wasn't really there at that time. So we want to see what we can do with Xano and see if we can get some of that stuff working again, which will be really, really cool. Well, that is really interesting. Well, best of luck with it. Please keep us posted. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you, too. And from CES 2018, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crews, signing off. Thanks.